heartbreaking. She's going to prison. Trump found IT. Over the last couple weeks, Hillary Clinton's longtime aide and friend Huma Aiden has been in the news, and for a good reason. If you haven't heard, late last week the State Department released a ton of emails discovered on Aiden's estranged husband, and convicted pedophile, Anthony Weiner near the end of the 2016 presidential campaign. Now, if you remember correctly, these are the very same emails that prompted former disgraced FBI Director James Comey to reopen an investigation into Hillary Clinton that ended right before the November election. Of course, Hillary and her buddies all claimed that these emails were nothing, and it was just a ploy by conservatives to sway the election, but that appears to be far from the truth after what was just discovered. President Trump made waves late last week again when he tweeted that Huma Abedin should be in jail for using her personal, unsecured Yahoo email to forward highly sensitive State Department emails that included passwords to government systems. According to the Daily Caller, Abedin who was Clinton's top aide when she served as Secretary of State would often forward highly sensitive government emails to her unsecured server to print out these documents which fell prey to hackers from 2014 to 2016. Of course, this breach of protocol would get any one of us thrown behind bars, but because she is a Clinton crony, Puma has been able to remain free, but that may about to change after Raiden was caught in one hell of a nasty lie. New evidence has been discovered on Huma Aiden's pervert husband's computer, Anthony Weiner that shows she backed up copies of her emails with Hillary Clinton, and then lied to the FBI and in court that she did not preserve the conversations. I wonder how Huma will try and explain this one away? Here is more from the Daily Wire. Huma Aiden backed up copies of her emails with Hillary Clinton onto her husband's laptop. Contrary to what she told the FBI and other officials investigating the email scandal, according to a new report, Abe, Clinton's top aide, backed up many of her work-related emails to Anthony Weiner's laptop after Clinton left the State Department in early 2013, the Daily Mail writes after an examination of her emails. But Abe told the FBI that she lost most of her old emails as a result of the transition from the State Department. She had only accessed ClintonMail.com through a web portal and did not have a method for archiving her old emails prior to the transition, according to notes taken during an FBI interview with Aiden on April 5, 2016. Aiden compounded that statement in June 2016 by telling lawyers from a watchdog group under oath that she didn't back up emails. With respect to those State Department work-related emails on the ClintonMail.com accounts, what did you do, if anything, to preserve those emails? Asked an attorney with Judicial Watch, according to a transcript of the deposition. Aben said she did not do anything to preserve those emails. The instances where it was Clinton email to Clinton email, there were instances where the content of those emails had personal matters in there, and there may have also been State Department matters in there, too. It was a, a combination. But I did not. I do not preserve those emails, Aiden said. Clinton kept a secret email server in her New York home and used it to correspond with several top aides throughout her time as Secretary of State. Dozens of classified emails were found to have been forwarded through unsecured mail servers. Last week, Judicial Watch revealed that there are at least 18 classified emails in the 798 documents recently produced by the State Department from the FBI's investigation into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's illicit email system. Among those, 13 contained classified information, including discussions about Saudi Arabia, The Hague, Egypt, South Africa, Zimbabwe, the identity of a CIA official, Malawi, the war in Syria, Lebanon, Hamas, and the PLO, Judicial Watch reported. This new information discovered should be a big enough bargaining chip for investigators to use to push for some answers. If Huma Aiden were smart, she would start talking and get herself the lesser of the deal since the big fish we all want to see fry is Hillary Clinton. It appears that President Trump is keeping his promise to drain the swamp and if we are so blessed, we may see Hillary Clinton and her associates in jail soon. For too long these disgusting individuals have gotten away with destroying our country and putting Americans in harm's way.
it is past the time for these traitors to finally serve the sentence they deserve and we can all hope and pray that Trump does it before the year is out. Is out.